Welcome to a new video everybody. Today we're going to be installing some of these air snorkels behind the grill of the Stinger. So let's go ahead and test these things out first and then we'll go ahead and remove the bumper, get these installed, and then we'll put everything back. Alrighty, so to test these things out, we're going to go ahead and connect them with the power cables that came in the kit and run the wiring up here to our fuse box. Now, I did have to make some minor modifications. Um, I'll be hiding all this wiring later, but uh, the little fuse tap that comes in the kit, I wasn't able to get power with it facing that way, with the, the wire facing that way. So what I did was I had to turn it, but in order for that to work, you kind of have to take just a little notch out of this lip right here. So I just took some pliers and just cut out a little notch so that this could fit and plug that in right there to the third fuse spot up. And then I've got the ground going under here where I have the other ground for the other LEDs that are in here. So now we're going to test them out, make sure they work, and then we'll do the hard part in taking the bumper off and all that other stuff. And as we can see, they are working as they should be. These are the RGB LED ones, so they do the, I think it's 72 different colors and all the different patterns and whatnot. So now that we know they are working, we can go ahead and take the bumper off and then get them installed. Alrighty, so to get the bumper off, we're going to need to take out five of these clips here on the top, and then there's six along the bottom, kind of three on each side. There's also three more inside the wheel well towards the front, and then also inside of each wheel well, there is a bolt we're going to need to take out with a 10 millimeter socket. And then also with that 10 millimeter socket, we're going to lift up these little panels. They just pull out and disconnect from that little clip right there. There's going to be another 10 millimeter bolt that we're going to need to take off right there. So let's go ahead and get all that removed and then we'll take the bumper off. So just a quick recap, we went ahead and removed the five clips from the top here, the six from the bottom, three from the insides of each wheel well, so another six, and then we got one bolt on the inside of that wheel well, and one bolt on the inside of the engine bay here, another bolt there, and another bolt on the inside of that wheel well. So now the bumper is pretty much just hanging on there. We can sort of start wiggling some of the areas like here and below the light off and we should be able to just remove it. Okay, a quick tip if you're having trouble getting the bumper off, you can go ahead and stick your hands kind of in those air ducts there under the lights and help wiggle it free. I think it was catching on these little grooves right here and it was making it a little hard to get off. And as you can also see, I've still got the lip on there. It's got some cutouts so that you can remove the clips and everything without having to take it off the bumper. So that's a nice plus. 
Okay, so now that we've got the bumper off, we also need to remove this ductwork that's going around here. You can trim that down and put the scoops and that ductwork back, but we're just gonna go ahead and get rid of that ductwork altogether. So, we need to remove the two nuts that are at the top on each side, and then down here on the sides, kinda halfway down, there's a bolt on each side, one on that side too, and then underneath the uh, crash bar, bash bar, whatever you like to call that, there is another one right back in there. So we're gonna remove six things total, and then on the inside here, we need to remove these clips that are holding this wiring here. We want that to stay in the car. We're actually gonna attach it, I think, behind the uh, crash bar back here and remove all of that. And I forgot to mention that there are two clips on either side back in here that are holding the wiring in that you'll have to remove. And then there's also one back here behind the sensor. So now that we've got that all loose in there, we need to go ahead and remove these two little air boxes. And you can kind of see the workings of the air intakes here once you've got the bumper removed. And it looks a little bit silly. So all your air is pretty much feeding in through that big snorkel there. And then up here, these air ducts is where the air is filling into your air boxes for the intakes. So by putting these scoops in, we're going to be pushing air directly back through that line instead of trying to get it from underneath the top of the bumper here. Right, to remove these air ducts, there's going to be another three bolts that we're going to take out. There's one right here on the top, about halfway down on the right side, there's one here, and then down at the bottom, kind of get back in there, right there underneath. We're gonna take those three out on each one of them. Now that everything is loose, we can go ahead and remove these air boxes. You should just be able to take that off and we're going to save these little rings here, these gaskets. We're gonna put those on the new air scoops so that we can make sure we get that nice airtight seal. And as you can see, they just kind of peel off and then stick back on in this little channel here. So we'll go ahead and get both of them off, get the gaskets on and then put the air scoops in. Now that we've got the scoops installed and you're only going to use two of the bolts that you used to take off the old scoops to put those back on with, we're going to start working on the wiring. So I think what I'm going to do is, and I'm actually having to redo a little bit of this because I didn't really think about, I would have to take the bumper off and the fact that I already had put LEDs underneath it. So I'm gonna rework some of the wiring, but I'm basically going to have it come underneath this side here. And then the wires for the scoops are just going to poke under through that and across here, and then we're just going to zip tie them. They provided us with some zip ties in the kit, and that should take care of that. So now that we've got the wiring fed and we've made sure that the scoops are still working, we can go ahead and put our bumper back on.
one thing I want to mention that's really important, when you're putting the bumper back on, you want to make sure that the skid plate here, this big piece of plastic, goes on the inside of the bottom of the bumper. You want to make sure that these little tabs of the bumper that are the color of your bumper are underneath it. If the wind catches this skid plate, it's going to rip it from underneath your car and then you're going to have a bad time trying to get another one. Uh, I've heard from some Kia dealerships that that part, since that's been happening a lot, is on back order for like months now. So make sure that you've got it above these little clips here inside the actual lip of the bumper. Alrighty, now that we've got the bumper back on there and we've got all of our wiring hidden, I went ahead and did the same thing like I did with the uh, LEDs that are in here. I just kind of went around the outside edges of the engine bay, used some double-sided adhesive to kind of hold the wiring up under these lips and under these little panels here. If I ever need to take the bumper back off, I'll just take that double-sided adhesive off and then put some more on. And of course, we will come back here in a little bit when it gets dark outside and see what these things really look like. And here's what they look like when it's dark outside. I've just got the garage light on behind me and these things are still super bright. Thank you guys so much for stopping by and checking out the video. If you have any questions about the scoops or the install, let me know in the comments. I'll be leaving links in the description down below for some of these snorkels. Now, they may not actually be these exact snorkels because this company doesn't make them anymore. They were bought out by another company, so I'll be leaving their link in the description. Again, thank you guys so much for stopping by and checking out the video, and I hope to see you in my next one.